All right, y'all, we're here to answer one of the most asked questions we get, and that's how to improve your spare game. And we're here to put your mind at ease, get you to relax, and pick more spares. But to do that, we need to head to the foul line. All right, Kyle, so we're on the foul line. We got a bowling ball and we got a bowling pin. What are we looking at? The idea is we're going to demonstrate and hopefully put your eyes or your mind at ease. Because like, I think the biggest issue when people are shooting spares is they feel like they have to be so perfect and so exact. Like I have to stand here, I have to look here, I have to be so precise and I have to throw it exactly right to pick that single pin. So we're gonna hopefully put your mind at ease a little bit to show that you have miss room out there, you have room. So we have a pin and we have a ball. Let's pretend this is our head pin. If we take this bowling ball, right? So the bowling pin is like four, and three quarter inches or something like that, four and a half inches wide, and the ball is like 13 and some change inches uh, wide. If we take this bowling ball, right, and I put it on this side to where it's still touching the ball, the pin, what board is that on, Brad? That looks like it's on like 30. board, oh. or what's the center of it on? 26, yeah, 20, Yeah, 26, somewhere around there. So we're still touching the pin, it's on board 26. Now, if we flip this ball around to the other side and I touch the pin, that ball is now rolling 14. on 14. 13? Yeah, like 14-ish. So 14, 26, that's 12 and some probably change uh, boards. So that means we have 12 boards that our ball could roll over and still cover this pin. Now, how wide is the lane? 39. So if we want to, if it's 12 and some change and we get to 13, that's a third of the lane. So you have 33, if you were to pick this single pin, you have 33% of the lane to roll your ball over to hit this pin. Yeah, so it's not like you have to hit a, a direct bullseye. You have to hit a third of the lane. For all of the single pins, except the seven and the 10. Yeah, the seven and 10 is gonna be a couple boards less than that because we have the gutter and we're gonna run out of room. Yeah. But you're still gonna have like, I don't know, approximately 28%, 25% of the lane. Yeah, and you gotta think, the, the strike shot requires oil moving and hooking and perfect angle and transition. Your spare game for most of the time is just a very direct, simple process that once you figure out how to hit that third of the lane, it doesn't really change much and it kind of becomes easy. Yeah, when you don't feel like you have to be so precise and so perfect, we can relax a little bit yeah. and it's easier. So again, it's simple math, guys, and this works for our single pins. The combo pins are different, obviously, sure. but our single pins, to put your mind at ease, 33% of the lane, we don't have to be perfect. So let's get into some tips now on how we can pick more of these guys. So we're talking about how can we get better at picking these spares. So Kyle, what tip or tips come to the, the front of the mind when we talk about getting better at spares? Yeah, today we're simplifying. We're, we're getting to like literally the very basics of what you need to do. We're not talking about an exact system. We're talking about more of the principles of shooting spares. So for one, the first tip we're gonna talk about is this guy right here, your forearm, your elbow. This area is what creates the accuracy in bowling. As long as we get our forearm and our elbow going towards wherever we're trying to pick, then we're gonna have accuracy. It's when we start getting maybe our elbow flying around, our swing getting, you know, misdirected somehow, that's when our accuracy goes away. So as long as we're focusing on our forearm and our elbow, just going towards whatever we're trying to pick, that's what's gonna give us accuracy. So you wanna throw a shot? Yeah. Let's shoot it, I don't know, I'll give you a pin here. Let's shoot the uh, three pin. Three pin? Yeah. Okay. So when you're up here in your approach, all I want you to think about is this forearm, this elbow, everything is nice and relaxed, and we're just gonna throw it out there. You're, you're not trying to be perfect here. We're just focused on our forearm and our elbow going towards that three pin. <laughs> ah, baby. You know, I was thinking in my head, I'm like, this is a high pressure spare shot right here. That's a weird pin to shoot at on a full oh, rack. On a full rack? But what did you feel okay. there? That's the way I shoot spares. Yeah. So I, I look at everything and at a very direct line. So if I want my ball to go dead straight, like you said, the second we get our elbow going this way, tucked out a little bit, it is, our hand goes with it and it is hard to push the ball in a straight line. Yeah. Now all of a sudden there's like a little bit of rev rate going. So, so that one missed right. What do you think you felt there? That was a, uh, so I released it fine. It was an alignment issue. Alignment issue. Yeah. Okay. So I was just a little too open. So let's make the adjustment there. If I miss right on a spare, I'm never thinking, well, I just need to do this. No, no, no. You need to keep the exact straight angle you use. And then if I miss right, then I'll just, I'll angle my body a little bit different. Yeah. So we're realigning and we're focusing on forearm, elbow, yep. going towards the pin. All right. 
We picked it. I was a little worried about hey, that. Hey, we're 50% on, on the single pin, right? <laughs> the three pin, man. Alignment is a big thing going into it, and everyone's feel and alignment is a little different. For instance, like for like if we compare me and Brad. When I feel like I'm going up the lane, I'm actually pretty open. And for you, when you're going up the lane, you're actually going up the lane. So when you talk about alignment, it's gonna be specific for you. It's gonna, the feel is gonna be different. So when we're working on that forearm or that elbow going straight, you need to practice whatever feels right for you um, as far as like alignment goes. Yeah, and I, I remember when I was young, um, I was, the uh, Rhino Page was a college bowler at. KU and I was a young kid and I got to talking with him at a local tournament and he was telling me he throws a spare ball specifically and he's a one hander he doesn't have to but he throws a spare ball specifically because if you go from building to building to lane pattern to lane pattern to dry to you know these very these variables change and if you have like a hook spare ball where it's like kind of wanting to hook sometimes it might and sometimes it might not. And spares are a very important part of the game. So oh, huge, yeah. That's, exa that's why we, we try and keep our, our forearm and our elbow tucked and everything just directly at whatever spare. We don't want to see any bend or hook. Shaping it now. Because the, the simpler you can make it, the more uh, you can go from building to building, from pattern to pattern, and just keep the same exact routine. And once you get it, it doesn't change for the rest of your life, really. I mean, you just you keep hitting that triple 20. Yeah, and you made a good point, simple. So I want you to grab your ball again. This is gonna be the next step too. And again, this is a simple tip. We're gonna change spares on you now. We're gonna shoot a four pin. Okay. Okay, and now when, when you guys are up there and you're practicing your spares in practice, what, what I want you to do is literally just relax. I don't want you to think about having an amazing release where you're completely knuckling the ball and getting no revs because we have a, when you have a ball that already designed to go straight, you can get away with that release. Yeah, and you don't wanna feel like this is really tight on the way up. If, if you're uncomfortable about the spare you're shooting and it results in you like trying to like guide it or force it with your hand and arm, that's a bad spot to be in. Yeah, so let's get up here and all I want you to do is relax, ease. Remember, we have 33% of the lane, roughly, to pick this spare. That is a third of the lane. So I just want you to relax, focus on the forearm elbow going towards the pin and just chuck it. No, I missed it again. <laughs> Why? Hey, I've seen that before. Why are we doing this? <laughs> Why are we doing this? Oh, that's a good video. This Everybody fair. struggles. This is fantastic. It went straight. It went dead straight. Let me try that again. I'm sure. So do you think again. that, and this is actually something to where there's a little bit of pressure on this because we need to perform for this video, sure. right? Like there's a little bit of that. And that's when people miss spares. Mm -hmm. That's when like, when you all of a sudden are thinking too much and you're, you know, letting the moment or whatever gets to you, that's when it happens. And for us, you know, we need to pick this spare to show everybody. And there's a little pressure. Brad is a 99% spare shooter, but as soon as we start getting these variables in, things change. And that's a huge point to where if we can just learn practice to relax and just throw it at the pin, and no matter what the environment is, that's huge. And it feels terrible. <laughs> yeah. It feels terrible to miss a single It feels pin. terrible to miss a single <laughs> pin. Dude, that's hilarious. And spares, you know, they take they take some practice. They you take gotta, practice. You gotta get in the center and get used to it. All right, relax. Oh, I missed it again. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I'm gonna shoot this until I get it. Hey, Daniel, we need help. We need help, Daniel. Can't shoot a spare. We need our, our coaches in the building, and uh, we, apparently Brad needs okay. a little tweaking on his spare game. All right, come on, we got this. <laughs> I'm too, I'm not relaxed enough. There so we go. you know what I noticed on that one is like you just chucked it. I just you, went. You literally just went. You took out all like you took out all the thought process. You know we want to be stable at the line, but you literally just threw it at it. I like actually you were so pick it. the situation I'm in, we're not warmed up, and I haven't shot any spares. That's true. So I'm kind of <laughs> yeah. I'm kind. But that's a good point. I'm not warmed up, so I'm tight. Tight, yeah. Without even thinking it. Like I just shot those two spares, thinking, oh, I just missed those spares. But really, I'm just tight. Yeah. You know, and so that one, I'm like, well, I missed two. It's like the Kobe effect. At some point, one of them's gonna go in. You know, so. And now I'd be willing to bet that neither you saw that one go in, you're gonna, you would pick the next. Yeah. I, so I, let's, I finally... so let's try. Let's see what we pick two in a row here. Okay. We got to get to 50%. That's our mark on spares right now. Yep. I like that. All right. Rhythm. A little pressure. A little pressure now. This is easy. No, it's not. No, it's not. 
This is fantastic. On. Video about picking spares. <laughs> Let me hear. You know what? You know what I'm going to show Brad? How easy it is? I don't want to stop. No, 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 no. I want to rub this in <laughs> because I get so much beef about not being a good spare shooter <laughs> that we're just going to get up here and just ace this. Oh, yeah. Perfect. See, this is a video about how Kyle shoots spares. <laughs> <laughs> Your way of shooting the four pin. Dead straight, hard, don't think yeah, about it. Hard and straight, get a ball, chuck it, relax. And like I was off balance there, but do we care about knocking it over? That's all we care about. So you want you want a couple you want a I do. he needs a redemption shot. I do. So we're one for four on the on one the four. One for pin. four? I think that's how the math works, right? I think oh, we almost just left the same five count on my pin spot. So what did we learn, Brad? Well we don't want to uh, Miss any four pins on camera. Don't do that one. That don't do that. Good. Yeah. Have um, you ever missed a four pin on camera before? A couple times. I have too, dude. I remember the one show where I finally missed a four pin because it was your thing, and I'm like, Mom, can't give Brad was crap that this anymore. Year? Was it this year? I thought it was last year. What'd you miss against Packy? Oh, the uh, ten pin. Oh yeah. You know, at the ten pin, if I had 33 percent of the lane, I would have <laughs> picked it. But since I it only would've. had, it was close. Since I only had 25 percent. <laughs> We just missed it. Looking back at that 10 pin miss, was it a tightness thing? Yeah, dude. Do you it wish was, you could have? Yeah, it was a not a relaxed thing. Like, you know, we're, we're talking on camera and like, you know, similar to what just happened to you. When, you. when you're not relaxed and you think about other things other than picking the spare, then that's when things go awry because I picked a million 10 pins. You yeah. know, 97, 90, probably higher than that, 98% shooter on 10 pins this year. And that moment, I'm just up there, I'm not relaxed, I'm tight, I feel like I have to pick this 10 pin instead of just relaxing, understanding that I have some miss room and just making a good shot at it. So I've got one quick story. I was on the PBA league, our favorite guy, Norm Dew, comes back to our team. I'm on the strikers and we're warming up on TV for the semifinal match and he comes back and he tells our team, all right, if the ball hits the, the approach, if the ball falls off my hand and hits the approach before it hits the lane, don't worry. And we're like, what does that mean? And that's all he said. So he goes up there, leaves a 10 pin, and on the shot that he spares the 10 pin, this sucker comes off his hand, bam, hits the approach before it even hits the lane and rolls down there like 10 mile an hour and makes the spare. And I'm like, wow, how did he, for one, know that was gonna happen, for two, Ball fell off his hand, went 10 mile an hour down there, and it still picked it. So what does that tell me? As long as your hand <laughs> and your arm is in the right spot, it could fall off in your backswing. But if your alignment is correct, it's going to go right to the pin. Yeah, that's amazing. It that is guy amazing. is so in tune. It's incredible. But yeah, just uh, simple. You got to keep it simple. We don't want any shape. We don't want any hook because then you can translate it for the rest of your life. It's a very basic way of bowling. You just hit the pin. Just hit the pin. Just hit the pin and practice it until just it hit the pin. <laughs> That's all you gotta do is just hit the pin. <laughs> all right guys, so that's a video on spare shooting. We would like to let you know, do not shoot spares like me. And no, you were just showing the don'ts. Yeah, You yeah, were just yeah. showing how it's hard to pick single pins and, at times. And if you are shooting spares like me, get into the bowling center <laughs> and practice. It's a repetition thing. I promise you will get more comfortable and more comfortable the more you practice them. Yeah, and if you guys are looking for more coaching, again, we have a membership where we offer as much coaching as you could possibly want, really a 24 seven resource to answer your bowling questions. And now we're running tournaments just for our members, clinics. We have a new coaching course coming out. It's gonna be awesome, we're super excited. But if you guys are just looking for more resources, click the link in the description. We'll love to help you out. And then learn how to pick more single pins. Brad's gonna go into the course and watch some videos and- <laughs> and, re and I'm gonna get in the center. Revitalize the spare game a little bit and work on it. But Thanks for watching the video, guys. We'll see you in the next one.